The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Andy Tobi here with a G.I. Joe Classified Series Unboxing Review. Today we're going to take a look at number 49, Dusty. Uh, something interesting, I want to bring it up real quick before we get too far into the video. They just went with Dusty. I don't know why they didn't use the name, uh, what was it, Ronald Tadur, which is like an anagram for Ron Rudat, but maybe that's why. But uh, just Dusty, and they've done like real names on some things. Eh, I don't understand it, wish they would go one way or the other, but... It's just somebody mentioned on a Facebook group. And I thought that was an interesting point of discussion. So let me know in the comments if you know why they didn't put his name on there. Uh, before we get started with this, if you have not, please go up there and hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. I'm trying to get the 2000 one in a year. I don't think we're going to hit it, but at least if we can get break 1900, I only need four subs. So we can do that. That'll help out quite a bit. Also, check out the other Rejecticons. It's Kato's Collection, Larkin Slayer, and Sardar Noon Spy 82. If you're interested in helping out the channel, we've got memberships available. You can click the join button below and or interested in donating to help the channel. Hit that super thanks. You can do whatever you want to do. All right, so here he is in the packaging. Nice artwork here. So it's a little plain, if I'm being truly honest. Just the artwork is nice, but just kind of kind of looking, you know, sad. <laughs> got dust here. He's hiding behind a wall or something like that. He's in the desert checking on something. Uh, yeah, so it, this is kind of, to me, a little lackluster in the art department this time. Dusty on here, he is number 49. Here's his stats. Like I said, needs a file card, needs a stand. I'll say it to the end of time. And then the artwork here on the back. And that's pretty much it. Let's get him out of the box and take a look at everything he comes with. All right. Dusty comes with a quite a few accessories. I really like what they're doing with Joe's and including uh, pretty realistic looking weapons and accessories. So they're doing a good job with that. Definitely give credit where credit's due. Let's start with the backpack. All brown. Not a bit of paint. Um, it's unfortunate that we're not including just a little bit more paint or something or maybe some light hand, some dust or something. Uh, you can see I uh, got two canteens. We've got some bags, maybe a medical pouch or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but I mean, it's got the detail, right? You got the Molly gear uh, stuff on there uh, and some nice textures. It's just all one color. I wish they would just do a little bit more of that. Though. I'm being nitpicky. Comes with a knife. We're seeing this kind of knife a lot. It's a nice combat knife, painted silver. Black handle, pretty standard. Looks good enough. Comes with two sets of goggles here. So let's take a look at these. Both of them are like, I guess, silver for mirrored. You've got one shorter one that you can wear on his head. Uh, here, if you're interested in doing that, I will not. And then we got a longer pair to fit over his um, helmet slash cover uh, piece here. And you can do that and that's probably the way I would go because uh, it's just a little bit classic and looks good uh, so here's his cap dust cover everything has got some camo on there a painted tan looks nice enough we've got the straps hanging down loose I like that this is a really good nod to the original figure I never had the original figures get or anything like that but from what I've seen what I can remember seeing him it was a pretty good nod we'll take a look at his gun uh, which I think is, you know, based pretty much on the FAMAS. Uh, maybe a little bit more modern. It, it, it's kind of like the FAMAS, but it's almost like a HK with the rail. This rail is like a HK36, G36 or something. Uh, we've got nice scope on there. I is, um, um, God, I can't think of a freaking term. Bullpup? Yeah, there we go. That's the term I'm thinking of. Uh, magazine loads from the rear. Let's see, how's it going to go? Is it going to fit to a certain angle and feed into there? And 
like that. Mine's got a little bit of a bend in it. And you see that out of packaging. We'll work on it. I was straighten it out. Don't want to flex it too hard, but it comes with a different colored uh, bipod. It's mounted on top of the rail. I don't know if that's a real thing, but got a grip underneath. Uh, this one's got a little bit of droop in the barrel, but we got a port here for blast effect. Like I said, this looks like a FAMAS in a way, but it's also modernized. It's kind of a good nod. Uh, it's got some trappings of some different guns in there too. If this is based on a real one, I'm not sure which one it would be, but it definitely looks realistic enough, not, you know, spacey like they've done before. Uh, I think that magazine, right? Uh, there's a bullet you can barely see in the top. So yeah, this is really tight and that's fine. You should load it in an angle, but it's not going in there. Almost like it wants to, cause he's just, right? Should let, like turn it like almost like an AK, but it's not doing it. So we'll just go with that. See how that works. I think that'll be fine, but it's nicely detailed. Uh, I wish it came with some blast effects. One thing I really say. And then let's bring in the figure. Ah, the figure is fantastic. Paint deco is pretty good. Uh, it's got a spot down here for the knife on the boot. Look that in like that. His gear is very nice. The flag uh, and his name, which is not included on the packaging, uh, is right there and just as clear as can possibly be. I mean, that looks fantastic. G.I. Joe on this one. We should have done the flag on the, the arms, but. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. The head sculpt is really, really good. I mean, this, he's got the face of like one of those, you know, paratroopers from World War II, like Easy Company of 501st or something like that. It's just got that kind of look, but this is a really, really well done head sculpt. Eyes look good. Hair looks fantastic. Camo on the face. Here's the back. Like I said, he's got some whip gear on this. Uh, here we got, what is that? Uh, is it supposed to be radio? No, camel. It's like a camelback attachment right there. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Uh, two pouches here. Pouch on the side. No sidearm, which is strange in a way. You see a lot of these figures come with a sidearm, but that's fine for me. Don't really, don't really need it. We're gonna put on this. It, uh, this is really uh, one thing I'll say is. Way too big for his head. Uh, not sure what the thought process on that is. I guess leaving it makes it easier. I don't know. Seems like this is kind of a maybe you could put the goggles down, makes it tighter, but it's it's it's, it's definitely loose. But I don't know. Seems like it would be tighter on his head. That's a lot of gap right there. Look at that. Yeah, I get it. It should droop down a little bit, but not like that. That's really unfortunate that it's that loose. And with it being that loose, the goggles are not going to want to stay. Maybe they will. We'll try to work with it the best we can. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the way this is looking, but you know, we can always, you could always plug this over and just yeah you could do different things you could wear this put this here and then maybe let's see will this work we're, do, we're going on the fly mm, nope yeah his helmet's way too big it, re it really is it's way too loose uh i get it for the neck piece but i don't know it is you can see it is just way way too big Maybe there's something I can do to kind of make it fit a little bit better. I don't think so. We'll just try to make it work the best we can. Uh, but yeah, that's that's tad unfortunate. Uh, and I'm bringing the goggles down, trying to make it work. We'll, we'll do it a little bit crooked and go with it. Plug his backpack in and see how that looks. Yeah, it looks good. And then plug his rifle, carry his rifle. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, that is the one unfortunate thing is, is the hat is a little bit too big. I don't know why they went with that. That's kind of an unfortunate decision. But uh, overall, the figure looks fantastic. Uniform is really, really well done. Standard articulation, I don't go over it with the Joes because it's the same thing on almost every one of them. Pads look good with the knees. The boots look fantastic. This is really well done. Other than the helmet, this is a fantastic figure. And just another great addition to the collection. Look how loose that is. That is that is really crazy. I don't see how else I can do anything with it. But I got to give you a fair review. The helmet sucks at this point. It's just way too way too loose for its head. It should be a little bit smaller. Maybe some heat. But I, and I don't know. Like if you don't mess with it, I think it's fine. You can make it work. Maybe I'm making too much of a big deal about it, but. If you're not moving the figure around, that looks fine right there. So, plug his gun in, set him on the shelf, we're good to go. I don't really see me using these for anything. I don't know. Let me know about the name, put that in the comments. What do you think? Why they put it on the uniform but didn't put it on the front of the box? Not a big deal, but I think it is an interesting point of discussion. So, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, uh, if you're interested in helping out the channel, got super thanks and memberships available. It's up to you. Uh, but it really does go a long way to get more content available out there for you. Also, uh, check out the other Rejecticons. Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair, and Sardo New Spot 82. Sardo does fantastic photos. Check them out on Instagram. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And see you down the road. Yo, Joe.